Hello, this is Reza from Radicat, and in this video, I'm going to talk about how to generate a Power BI documentation, very simple and easy uh, in Power BI uh, from your Power BI file with all the reports, measure, uh, measures, expressions, tables, everything. Let's check it out. get the documentation in a very easy way uh, if you haven't installed power bi helper already go and download and install it it's a free tool you don't have to pay for anything you don't have to sign up for anything you'll just download it uh, your email uh, may be required for uh, getting in touch with you and asking for how your experience was but basically it's a free tool that you can use and the latest ver the latest version of that is also mentioned here so you can download it install it once you have that installed uh, open your power bi file in the power bi desktop whatever file it is then go to the external tools and click on power bi helper from there uh, alternatively you can open it from the start menu you should have power bi desktop already installed there when you open power bi helper uh, to connect to the model uh, use this option under model analysis click on connect to model that will connect to all existing Power BI file open in Power BI Desktop because you might not have just one Power BI Desktop file open. You might have like five of them open. It will show them all of show all of those five in this drop down for you. Uh, so this is a place that you can go and choose which file you want to actually analyze and document generate document for. Uh, if you have just one file, that would be the only file selected. Now in this page uh, or in this tab it shows some information about your models things such as uh, all your tables their expressions uh, the columns and their expressions measures and their expressions it also shows you the measure dependency tree and all of those uh, information that you can use in a lot of places now this information would be also documented uh, the next thing to check is to go to the visualization tab Automatically, Power BI Helper should have uh, found the path that this file exists on and uh, should have loaded all the information. In this file, we have like one report page. In that report page, we have uh, three visuals, no bookmarks, uh, fields that are used in the visual, tables that are used, fields that are not used, and tables that are not used. If a Power BI Helper automatically doesn't detect that, that might be because of some reasons. For example, your Power BI file might not be have saved yet. You might have just generated it. Uh, so you can save it, then select the Power BI file. Um, after checking this, then the next step is documentation. You can easily go to the documentation tab or uh, using export to document here will also lead you to the documentation tab. Now in the documentation tab, there are some configurations, but even if I don't do any configuration, if I just click on create Power BI file document, it is going to ask me where to save that document it is an HTML file. Uh, I can save it anywhere. Let's say I'm going to save it in my desktop. Uh, and that's it. This generates the documentation very easy. And I just show you what the output documentation look like. And this is an example of the output documentation, which has different sections in it. Uh, and at the top, we have the headings information, what the file is, when the documentation is generated, where is the file path. Uh, the list of pages and visuals in every page, the dimensions, some information about that, all columns, field measures, expressions used in different visuals and tables used in different visuals. Also, columns and tables not used in visuals, which is quite helpful because then you can clean it up later uh, by removing these or hiding these. Now, Power BI Helper has a feature that automatically does this as well. Uh, you can check that out in the visualization tab. 
then some model documentation including list of all tables if they are imported direct query uh, their information is listed here what is their expression their dax expression if exist and any other like description or any other information from those tables and then list of measures all the measures in the power bi file with their expression even if they are report level measures it would me mention those as well there are two very important columns here the dependency tree and and reverse dependency dependency tree says that what this measures expression is depend on for example what tables what columns what other measures and reverse dependency tree tells what other measures are using the result of this measure very very helpful and you get all of those as an export list of all columns for each table and uh, these columns mostly you see they are not calculated column but if they are calculated column you would see their expressions in there too uh, so that would be a big list for itself if you have roles for role level security and things like that they will be listed here the relationships between each uh, between every two tables the type of the relationship many to one one to many um, all, all those types of relationships the direction of relationship all the information is listed here and finally the power query scripts of the tables so all of this information is generated just with a few clicks basically now you have some options to configure it for example you can go to the documentation tab and change the colors uh, the styles the font size and anything you want in terms of the style or you can also choose what you want to be documented out by default these are all selected mostly except this one because uh, it gives you a full documentation if you want to like not have some of these documentation you can disable it and there is one option here that is for formatting all DAX expressions before documenting it out, which is using the DAX formatter uh, API that uh, our friends at SQL BI provided. Works very beautifully. The only thing that the reason that we haven't selected that is that if you have too many DAX expressions in your model, because it will send every single one of those expressions to uh, the API and get the result back, it might slow down the documentation process. If you are fine with that, go ahead and check this option and then create the Power BI documentation, which would make your DAX expression even much more beautiful in the generated output. The Power BI Helper does a lot of other things as well. It helps you with performance tuning, with reducing the file size of your model, with exporting the data of tables and metadata, the documentation of the service, which is totally big area itself. I haven't talked about that. Cleaning up your model. I'll have some other videos and blog articles to explain about that later. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI. Thank you.